Technocrat. Now that you're tuned in, let's talk tech. Hey everyone, welcome back to Technocrat. Today I'm super pumped because we're checking out something next level. The Ability Hand by Psyonic. This is the only commercially available bionic hand that literally lets you feel what you're touching. You heard me right. Real tactile feedback. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll be saying, I want one, regardless of if you have a hand or not. So going over first impressions in this big pitch, let's clear the air. This isn't just another robotic claw. Psionic calls it the world's first touch sensing bionic hand. It's fast, like blink fast. The hand closes in about 0.2 seconds, which is two times faster than any other bionic hand available today. And it's not a brick, just 490 grams, lighter than your average adult hand. Uh, it feels really good. I mean, it's, super, it's a lot lighter than any other hand that I've uh, worn in the past. Okay. Uh, a lot quicker, more durable. Durable. <laughs> more du durable or durable? Durable. It's, durable. Like, yeah. it's, it's uh, adorable it's and it's durable. durable. Yeah. It's a long morning. No. So. Um, yeah. And I mean, we literally, we break boards. I wear this thing to work out. I beat it up and it keeps going. Oh, really? How much is, how much can you, how much pressure do you get on that? Well, so you can lift about 50 pounds. You, uh, yeah. Like you can do a 50 pound kettlebell swing with it. I okay. think we've maxed it out at 78 pounds, uh, but it's still delicate enough to hold a raspberry without crushing it. Nice. So. So going over sensory feedback, we can explain that here. How does that feeling part actually work? Well, embedded pressure sensors in the thumb, index, and pinky detect how much you're squeezing. Then, small vibration motors on your residual limb replicate that pressure. So, if you're gripping a strawberry or an eggshell, you can feel it, which means less crushing and more precision. Lab tests actually confirmed this. Users who had touch feedback were significantly better at holding fragile items like cups and eggs. That's not just marketing, it's real science. Going over control modes and usability. Operating the ability hand is smooth. You can use EMG pattern recognition so it's muscle signals, or just manually control grabs through a smartphone app via the Bluetooth. And battery? USB-C charges it in about an hour giving you six to eight hours of use. And yep, it can even charge your phone if you're desperate. So you basically have a portable charger on the go. That's your hand. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can charge your cell phone from your ability hand. First thing you need to do is power off your hand. The next thing, double tap the power and you're gonna see a blue light come on. Once you have that, all you gotta do is plug in a USB-C cable into the charging port and plug the other end of that cable into your phone. And that's it, that's all you need to know. Let's dive into the mechanics here, guys. It's way nicer than some sci-fi movie prop. There are six brushless motors, one in each finger except the pinky and ring share one. The thumb can rotate electrically and manually. The result, 32 grip patterns. 19 are ready to go out of the box. Pinch, tripod, power grasp, you got it. Grip strength reaches about 66 newtons of force, about 15 pounds, and every finger is impact resistant, thanks to a rugged design. Oh, and it's rated IP64, meaning splash and dust resistant. And I know what a lot of y'all are thinking, everybody likes to see what Marquise Brownlee has to say on this, as he's one of the tech gurus out here. Marquise Brownlee, aka MKBHD, took a spin with it and his reaction was pure geek joy. He called it incredibly cool, incredibly niche, and incredibly helpful. He tried peeling a banana, typing, even writing. A few were tricky at first, but once he got the hang of it, he nailed it. I'll be including some videos here so you can see for yourself. And this app is pretty smart. This is where you can rotate between a bunch of different preset hand positions known as grips. So this, for example, is called the cylinder grip. So you could use this to grab a larger object like a door handle or something like that. And then you can always open and close the grip with the buttons here. Then you might have something like a pinch grip. 
And that's maybe for something smaller, like writing or picking up a berry or something extra small. There's also a grip called Handshake, which is pretty self-intuitive. If I open this grip and then close it in a normal handshake, yeah, that checks out. But yeah, there's some other miscellaneous ones. I like that they're all named. Like this one is called Sleeve, which is literally, I believe, just for sliding your hand into a sleeve and not getting it caught on anything. Uh, you also have Hang Loose, Maybe less uh, utility to that one, but still fun. Or even, my personal favorite, Peace. Uh, there's also this one, which is called Rude. <laughs> but it's pretty crazy how much functionality is in this app. Side note, by the way, this has to be the fastest pairing Bluetooth device I've literally ever used, and it's worked flawlessly every time. You turn it on with that button, then you let it do the quick little initialization, wiggle the fingers, then scan, click, Boom, connected in like two seconds flat. It's awesome. So what I do here is I put the hand on the end of this demo prosthetic. A regular prosthetic would be much smaller, but this is so I can put my hand inside. And on my arm, I'm gonna attach these sensors to two spots that they've advised me are the best for measuring that electrical signal. So now what you're seeing is I've got the two EMG sensors hooked up on my skin. I've taped them on to roughly the right positions based on what they've told me. And you only need two because, as you can see in the app, it's measuring the delta between the two signals. And that's the difference between opening and closing the grip. So now, if I flex just the right way and send the signals just the right way, it will actually close into a grip. And I have in the app a cycle of different grips that it can actually go through based on, like I said, what situation I'm in. So if I open again and then open again, it's ready to move to the next grip which I think is like that. And then if I open again and again, I'm ready to do the peace sign, which I think is like that. Nice. It's a lot of concentration on this. Okay, there we go. Peeling a banana. <laughs> what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is the same grip and then ideally just pinch the stem and pull. I've heard some people peel a banana from the other side, but I'm not gonna try that. Uh, I think here it'll just be a matter of getting the right spot and then holding on. Oh, success. You may or may not be wondering, it's pretty obvious who's using it and why it matters. This isn't a niche gimmick, it's making waves in serious industries such as NASA, Meta, Aptronic, and even Avatar. XPRIZE finalists are incorporating it into robotic systems and research. Meta's researchers say it's a game changer for dexterous manipulation and for real people. It means someday being able to hold a newborn, pet a dog, functions we often take for granted. And we have some real world impact stories here. Psionic also focuses on humans, real prosthetic use. The hand is US made, priced at around $25,000 to $50,000 and covered by Medicare. That's huge because cost is often what keeps advanced prosthetics out of reach for everyday people that really need it. I want to actually introduce you to Sergeant Garrett Anderson. Hi, Charles. I'm retired Sergeant Garrett Anderson. I lost my arm in Iraq in 2005 from an improvised explosive device. I've used a lot of prosthetics in my 18 years of being an amputee. They're too heavy, too slow, not functional, and not durable. So this Ioni hand has really changed my life and given me a new way to interact in, with society. Thanks for your service. Thank, Thank you. So what comes next here? Now get this, Psionic is pushing into neurotech. They're exploring brain spinal implants that could close the loop, direct neural sensory feedback and control. They're also developing flexible haptic patches with Northwestern University. Imagine controlling a robotic hand remotely in VR, feeling textures, performing surgeries. Future tech is mind blowing. Let's compare it to competitors such as Autobox B Bionic Hand. It has 14 grips, weighs about 570 grams, and no built in sensory feedback. Bionic beats it in speed, weight, cost, and frankly, innovation.
So stepping back, this is a real transformation, not just robotics hype. This is tech that changes lives. It's a hand that can feel, it's fast and it's light and all within reach. But what would you feel if you had this? Grip an ice cube, climb rocks, pet a dog? Drop your ideas below. I want to hear your crazy scenarios. I'm not even kidding here, man. Like I would get one of these, you know, I'm not saying I want to lose a hand or anything, but if I ever did, I'm definitely getting one like this. I'd love to see how they advance this in the future. We've seen it all. 0.2 second actuation, 32 grip styles, multi-touch feedback, six to eight hours of battery life, splash and dust resistant, and usability by top research agencies. If you're as hyped as I am, hit that like button, subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next tech deep dive. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time on Technocrat.